The owner of an equestrian center in Williamston says one of her horses was swept up in last week's tornado. Good evening, I'm Ann Emmerich. And I'm David Andrews. The horse found in a cornfield three quarters of a mile away from her home. News 10's Jordan Burrell spoke to that owner of the equestrian center tonight. Jordan? And David, Lisa Luton Hodges owns Luton Equestrian Training Center in Williamston. Along with her horse's injuries, her barn was completely destroyed. Now she's asking for help from the community to get everything back to normal. We put out a community alert that we needed help and we had over 100 people show up here to help us. Some that we knew, some that we didn't know, but they all pitched in and we got a large amount of work done. Lisa Luton Hodges opened Luton Equestrian Center in Williamston 20 years ago. An EF2 tornado touched down in mid-Michigan nearly a week ago. Her house and the center sitting on acres of land in one of the hardest hit areas. Um, we've never had a storm come that close to us. We've had a few tornadoes come nearby, but never this close. And um, I guess what they had said was this is a pretty severe tornado and especially when it hit our area. The hay barn took the brunt of the damage, but two of her horses were injured as well. Out of three of them, we only saw one. So we searched the pastures that night and didn't have any success finding them. In the morning, we found one of them was trapped in the lean-to over there that fell down. And uh, the other one somehow had gotten into the cornfield about three quarters of a mile away. Those horses suffering very minor injuries and recovering well. The horses inside the main barn weren't injured at all. Luton Hodges says the storm damage won't stop her from doing what she loves. Our everyday operations don't end just because the storm happened. We still have our everyday operations that go on. And then that just adds a little bit extra to our day and our weekends. But like many, picking themselves back up after the storm. I still have a feeling of gratitude that this storm was not worse and didn't cause more damage to our animals or ourselves. The Luton Training Center is raising money for the hay barn to get fixed, among other damage. We will have that linked within this story on our website at WILX.com. Live in the newsroom, I'm Jordan Burrell, News 10.